Hello, everybody. Welcome to the end of Brainless Chaos. <laughs> 500 TV down. Why the fuck not? <sighs> oh, wait, okay. Maybe not. So this is um, TV Plus doing its work. He's minus 200. He's getting matched at minus 200. I'm getting matched at plus 150. So we're getting matched as a 60 TV difference, but it's actually a 410 TV difference. Thank you, Dode, Borak, and the Wizard. I guess there's actually a chance. So, you know, if for some reason he's got 15 players, he shouldn't need that many. He's only got three mighty blow, thank God. If this had been a well-built team, I would be absolutely destroyed, even though he's got a losing record. Even though he's got a bad record, if these were just guard and mighty blow on these orgs, I would be absolutely fucked. Absolutely fucked. But, um... I guess I could still maybe win. Maybe. It's going to be tough though, isn't it? Didn't, it didn't take long for the Reckon to arrive. No, it didn't, did it? Yeah, at least it's all players. Yeah, if that was in skills, it would be horrific. It would have been horrific if it was all in skills. You'd probably just get the... Um... Yeah, perfect matchmaking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the thing was, if this was matched by proper TV+, Plus, I wouldn't even... I would get 60k of inducements. Like, that's the thing. No, oh, do I kick and then... Hope he concedes when I wizard. Or receive and hope he concedes when I block people. He's armor 9, I'm not going to hurt anybody. So I guess I kick and then go for the turnover while I've got my team. I guess that's the play. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cause any attrition to him. I'm not with four subs, so maybe go there, balance out the strength more, but not the block though. So maybe this way. Ugh. Could put the journeyman on the line to die, but no, I might want to do some crazy things to try and get touchdowns. Yeah, should be good. Hello, VIP Ravenpole. Long time no see. Probably dumpster. <laughs> Thank you, man. Do you see it? <laughs> Never know. Kick and get banged. Yeah, that's true. He has the best ball carries in blue ball. <laughs> yeah, that guy who's like, personally, in the orc thrower district discussion on Steam. Personally, I find goblins to be the uh, Yeah, I did not check if he concedes Jam Toss. I should have done that. I should have done that. The thing is, I can't really bang on him because I've only got two mighty blow and he's armor nine. So, it's not like I could bang on him. So, I, I figured the best way to get the turnover, the, the concession is the turn offensive turnover, isn't it? But I didn't check if he concedes. I should have done Kick and get banged, yeah, it's fucking true, isn't it? Yeah, it's very true, Don Kellis. It really sucks that you just don't get a good scar for chaos, good star for chaos dwarves. Should have gone claw, I absolutely should have done. I absolutely should have done. No, it doesn't concede, alright, fair enough then, thank you, VIP buy cakes. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, 
If if I receive me or mans me, then I'm banged on, aren't I? Um. No Silmarils. I did take Claw over Strength on a Chorf one time. Um, first skill, and I retired him. <laughs> or maybe it was Guard. It was, he either had Guard and I took Claw instead of Strength, or he had nothing and I took Claw as the first skill. It was one of those two. And then I just retired him because I thought Claw by itself was too bloaty it, and I was just pissed off. And I would definitely 100% take Strength every time instead of Claw um, on a Chaos Dwarf blocker. Just because you need strength so badly. I instantly regretted it as soon as I took Claw instead of strength. So yeah, I'd always go strength on Chaos Dwarf blockers. It's like the best thing you can get better than Claw. Because the thing you struggle with is when you're down, is you, you're out strength by all of the real bash teams. Yeah, I would think 4 3 rows is definitely too much bloat. Definitely too much bloat. Mr. Nutzer. <laughs> Yeah, Vamps Ogres, yeah. Maybe I wouldn't even on Ogres because they're 70k. I would just go zero rerolls Ogres forever. Maybe get one reroll on them eventually, but. No, changing weather. He loves it. He's got his weather dome. Maybe he had like one game in the rain and he's like, never again. Never again will I fail a pickup. He does a four mighty blow, doesn't he? He's got the troll, so this could be this could be horrible for rookie fucking you know rookie chaos with only what three block to defend themselves. There's plenty of AV8. Just getting beaten up by four mighty blow guys. It's not good, but luckily he's not using them. Yeah, it's not bloaty at all. When you think about it, it's 1200. It makes it makes the player 120k, which is a black orc blocker with block and tackle. And then they've got fixed skull as well, haven't they? So, and it's only taken them one skill up. Yep, exactly, Ravenpole. That's the thing. That's the thing that he trots out all the time, all the time, every time. Anything piling on is mentioned, then he's like, the win rate as defined by the Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl Rules Commission is win rate over the entire life cycle of the team, and this doesn't affect this, so therefore panning on is fine. <laughs> All right, Mr. Nutter. Well, just just be happy that you're over 300 TB above them, and you should be able to beat them anyway, I guess. <laughs> Maybe Fish for Fat said it better than me, but yeah. <laughs> um, no, only only ever three rerolls. I don't go to four rerolls with any team except, as was mentioned, probably um, well, vampires. You could go five rerolls for vampires, four rerolls for goblins because you just don't have any block. Or like halflings. I guess halflings you have the chef, so you don't want you'll probably want to go four wheels and on halflings, so Best plus strengths on a bull. I, I don't know Jelly Hill, because he's so much TV. He's mega TV then. A block strength bull is hundred and eighty TV. That's like a fucking star player. I mean sure he's really good. But um It's like It's a lot, isn't it? Oh man, pass, madman. A madman. Absolute madman. It's like I kind of wanna run wanna run around him a little bit, don't I? Not that I can get that far around. But then he'll just he'll just go to here and cage in the middle, so I guess there's no point in me doing that. I should just make a make a mighty blow blitz on his mighty blow. Wait, wait for the chance for to get a devastating wizard. After facing a team with Clawfong, yeah. 
Yep, it was a pretty amazing jam toast. Yeah, VIP jam toast. I should celebrate and not getting anyone killed there. But there were only two mighty blow hits. Well, yeah, two mighty blow hits. Could have easily been three or four, couldn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, a Tharthian Stockpool is a strength five ball centaur. And I've had a f strength five ball centaur in... Um, in the OFL, and it did win me the championship. If I, if he had been strength four, I would not have won. Um, I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain you can watch the match here. Now, uh, let me let me find you this OFL match because it was pretty good. Um, he wasn't, you know, obviously he wasn't my first choice ball carrier. The um, the strength five ball was not my first choice carrier. I had a blood sure hands hobgoblin who died. Um, in like the either the final or the semi-final or something um, so I was just kind of forced can I find it I was kind of forced to carry with the um, with the strength 5 ball I got absolutely smashed to pieces in the game surprisingly enough against lizard men um, But yeah, here we are. There you go. That was the um that was the final of the OFL. Um And yeah, I, I had a strength five ball and he was he was pretty good. He was armor eight. He was he was only strength five and block. Um and armor eight, which made him a bit shit, but he just absolutely you know, he was against lizard men, and he could hunt, he could carry it because he was fucking strength five, and it was just hard, hard to deal with a strength five ball carrier. You know, so it is, it is good. I can't wizard that. I don't think. I think it's a bit too, um, bit too, not wizardable enough. Feel like he'll give me a better chance later. KO, nice, nice, good boy Borak, could blitz him with two assists to get a mighty blow hit on and then hit him, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'd have to get mo loads of players around him, is it worth it, don't think so, I think it's better just a mighty blow blitz him. he could almost stand up he could go there and he could stand up and he could 2D him and then if it's a pal it's alright isn't it, ok that's what I'll do change of plan there halfway through the turn does mean that I actually get to stand him up doesn't it but it does give up a mighty blow hit potentially he might just go for the block first a player up Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. I thought he was going to fill it up here, maybe. Um, I don't know, no, I'm told there was a, there was a reason. Um, and I did it. Yeah, plus strength makes the tentacles better. That's the thing, yeah. Ah, uh, so he did. Oh god, he pushed him into the troll. Oh man. Banged on. He hit armor eight instead of. <laughs> Everyone's quite base now, aren't they? Which is un which is well, it's not unfortunate. It was, it was almost inevitable. Hmm, shit. Player up though.
Yeah, that is, that is a tough call, VIP Raven Paul. Um, it is tough because the tentacles is what changes it, isn't it? Nearly every other big guy, you'd just take the block. But the fact that he's got the tentacles is is interesting. Could blitz him, assist here with these two, block him, block him, move an assist in here, block him. The only thing is, oh no, this would be the assist in here, alright, so that, that's pretty good. I could move him in here in case this is a bolt down. Of course it is in gold Borak. I guess Borak could tie up two players, couldn't he? That's not even a bad use of Borak, even though he is strength five. And I'd like him in the fight against um, Black Hawks. Gotta reroll this if it's a one in nine. No worries. Block on him. Good. See you later, prick. Um, right. Guess I just got to leave it like that, haven't I? Hope to get a good chance of a wizard next turn. It was a pretty good turn, wasn't it? He's got a lot of men's down. Oh, maybe I should have dodged out the warrior, even though he'd probably fail. Just that he couldn't block to stand up the troll. Yeah, block did a thing. Yeah, there you go. Oh, thank you very much, Inarian. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do sounds quite depressed sometimes, don't I? I don't like it. I, I don't know. I'd rather not ever sound depressed, but sometimes I can't help it. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy actually. It's a bit of a waste of strength, but he is occupying two players and he does get to bang one down every turn, doesn't he? Which is pretty good, with Mighty Blow. And he can always dodge out on a 3 plus if he has to. HB Toss Pass. Huge. Might be a wizard next, next turn. He rolled you from the inside. <laughs> I've been playing it for 20 years. I'm surprised I'm still alive. Oh man, could be a fireball here, couldn't it? Right, he's going to 1D, 1D Borak, maybe. Switch the ball carrier at the other side, maybe. Skull. Versus Mighty, oh, he's got plenty of rerolls. Oh, shit. Can hit that sweet armor aid now with Bora. What skills does he have? Block, mighty blow, and dirty player. He was he was a force back in the old days of Blood Bowl. I think I could go for the wizard here. How good is it? Knock over two players. Well, in fact, 
I just get I just get a two D the ball anyway, so no, I, I guess I don't. I guess I don't make a wizard. Oh shit! It's not the block. Oh, I was so close to taking the ball down then. Holy shit! Hmm. Okay, two two pluses to hit the ball's all right. Everyone else is getting a little bit banged on, but it's not that bad, is it? Okay, even follow. Don't give a shit. Right. Can one D him? Or half D him. Or just put all the block. All the block. All the strength for around the ball. Could half die him. Saves him from a mighty blow hit, doesn't it? At least. It saves him from a block mighty blow hit as well. At that. Bounce is pretty good, yeah. Bounce is excellent, in fact. Not decent. Excellent. All four strength four around the ball is nice as well, isn't it? Even though... Well, all five strength four. Even though this strength four might get banged on by a troll. Yeah, that is that is very true, Odysseus. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> yeah, so he used to be he used to be amazing. I could, maybe I should have fireballed there because yeah, I wanted it. This would have been better. I mean, there's but I just wanted to save it for like you know later, if maybe you know maybe he makes a recovery or whatever. Maybe potatoes. Maybe I can do something better um, later on. You know, on my own drive force to touch on my own driver. I'd, and I've still got the threat of a fireball, haven't I, or something like that. But maybe I should fireball. Great. Yeah, clusterfoot can be problematic with orcs punching back. Yeah, maybe I should have wizarded. Maybe I should have wizarded. Maybe I should have done. Shit. That is six men's, yeah. Yeah, maybe I just do it this turn to clear. See, although it was a mighty blow block, because it wasn't with block, he didn't get the knockdown, did he? So I wasn't that disturbed about. Oh well, okay, we hit the block one anyway. But um, I wasn't that. Didn't feel that bad about giving up the block to the uh, troll. Yeah, I guess I just do the six fireball for attrition, and just for clearing tackle zones off the ball for a recovery and score. Maybe I do fireball. Because it's not nice getting punched repeatedly in the face by <laughs> by Ox, is it? <laughs> Fireballs does not hit the guy on the ground, no. So it'd only be five. I was I was just going off. I was just going off Jamto saying six. Hmm. Could be these four though. These four are still not bad, is it? it, it uh, 
But then it's just it's just reducing the banging on that I'm getting back in return. It doesn't really do a lot. I think I'd rather oh god, minus two D. I think I'd rather keep it for when it mattered. Maybe I shouldn't have uploaded that guy because he was just a rookie, but he was dead, wasn't he? Would hit four, but I get a scatter, I get more blocks. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad at the moment. Yeah, I don't lose here. Might lose next turn. At least there's only one mighty blow in this neck of the woods. Maybe blitz the blitz the troll and then make the pickup. Shit. Oh shit, I did block Dick Ward. Oh fucking hell. I had fucking block. That's why I take mighty blow first. <laughs> right. That's okay. <sighs> fucking hell. I mean, it's not okay. It's not that bad. I still got one reroll, but shit! What a stupid fucking reroll that was. <sighs> Man, auto reroll. Auto reroll. Oh, right, do you know what I'm going to turn? I'm going to turn off the camera and stop reading chat and uh, concentrate. Idiotic reroll. Like it's not that bad because if he was in there, he could have maybe done something. But it's pretty bad, wasn't it? it? Wasn't the worst thing in the world, but like I'm in a I'm in a better spot than if I hadn't rerolled it. But um, I wish I had two rerolls left. Maybe wizard now to push through. Hit these three or these four. Ah, oh, narcolepsy. Block him, he could go one, two, three, four, five, six, get over the halfway line. You could block him, he could blitz him, he could blitz him and go up there. He could go, he can just move one, two, three, four, five, six. He can move there, no problem. So he could blitz. 
He could blitz and then come around here. He could block. He could go there. He could just block. He could just block. I guess I don't need to use the wizard here. There's a GFI. That's you know that's gonna end well. Yeah, he was in the way, wasn't he? Gotta make two GFIs to score. When he blitzes and goes one, two, three, four, five, six, he blocks him to there, follows. He's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI to hit. But on the other hand, I'd rather be further away from all these guys. Maybe I've got to go here. We can hit him there anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, from here... Yeah, this is better if I'm there. Oh god. Wow, got the knockdown. Can you fucking believe it? I guess I follow here still. I mean, there's no need though, is there? Yeah, there is. Oh god. <laughs> he can he can smash the fucking shithead thrower. Now he can one D him. But then it fails on one or two, I guess it's better just to dodge. Oh god, Elf Chaos. Loving it. Alright, oh, it's pretty good. Pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Still have the wizard to force through the score as well. Yeah, the thing is, if I made the GFI this turn, I would have been able to be banged on by, like, a dodge or whatever, wouldn't I? Better to save the GFI for a bit later, I think. Him, Thanks to all those insane dodges. They didn't really matter much if they failed, but were fantastic when they worked. I guess I just tag this Black Orc and blitz this Blitzer. With him. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. 
All right. So no need for the wizard. Just need this block to clear him. All right, and just make this GFI roll next, because it has to work. Oh, thank God. God. An armor break. Yes! Unbelievable. I've been pretty lucky this game. Bizarrely. Bizarrely lucky. Right. Block here. I guess I could not make... There's an argument for not making the block. Just because, you know, if I double skull it, it's horrific, isn't it? So he's a dodge away and a GFI away. He's a dodge and two GFI, so it's better to try and stop this one with a dodge. Um, one, two, three, four, two GFIs. It doesn't do that much, does it? If he goes there, he shuts it down. That shuts that one down. Which then means this dodge out. Now, I can only shut one of them down. I can either shut him down completely, or I guess make it just as hard for him. I guess I've got to go for this, shutting this one down, haven't I? earth can I do it stop the other guy just nothing 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus and he gets a 1D on the ball oh, maybe I should have just run that guy up over there or something could bolt him <laughs> could bolt him could dodge away to assist the block there. This is currently a one dice, isn't it? So a dodge here could make this a two from him. Get him away from the troll button. Maybe I fucked that up. Maybe I should have run two GFIs to here. Maybe that would have been better. And then try you know, something. I don't know, there's no, there's no way, uh, I guess he could have gone, he could have gone to there. That, that, that would have been the play. That would have been the play. He could have, he could have made these GFIs to here. One dice, it, fuck it. I was just going to get blocked by them, so it wasn't really... Might, maybe I should have bolted there. But I just might need to use the bolt. The, the thing is, at the moment, I'm 0-0, zero, zero, aren't I? And having a bolt to use on my offense is really, really good. So, there is that. Like, I'll take 0-0. Zero, zero. He, he absolutely cannot score. Oh, no, he can. He's, he's got something in scoring range, but he realistically, he can't score. And he only gets one KO roll for these two as well, which is nice, isn't it? Even though, of course, he's got 11 men, thanks to his reserves. Get banged on. See, plus is, would he even see that play? Would he even see him go for that play? Like, if it was against, like, let's say, Ducky or Inarian. I'd know he'd be going for this 70%, 75% dodge out. Well, whatever, you know, 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus sequence. I'd know he'd be going for that. Or else I, don't, I don't even know that this guy's going to be going for that. 
Okay, he does go for it. And he makes it. Doesn't oh he's already used his reroll, thank god. Just a just a GFI to score after two D blitz. But yeah, I think maybe, maybe I should have bolted him. But I don't know. I just think the you know I really want to score on my drive, don't I? And like being having being able to whiz makes it so much easier. I got I got a bit lucky there. He could have if he if he'd just done that first action, he would have had the reroll for it, wouldn't he? Kind of new, Shawnee. I played a couple of games yesterday, and um, one game so far. This is the second game today. Three and zero. Oh. Much easier to win with chaos than uh, chaos dwarfs for me. Just because they can do more bullshit, can't they? They can. Like, if if you have to make some dodges with chaos, you can do it. We well, just can't with chaos dwarfs. <laughs> yeah, best for he's the new best for gore, isn't he? He's the new best for go. And now we've both got 11. Despite, and he's just wasted 100 TV for the match. That's what I hate about reserves. Like, it's what I really hate about reserves. That he's got these two reserves, but if I just bang on him this half, make a Kaz turn one or whatever, a KO turn one, he doesn't even get to use his reserves, does he? Amazing, amazing. But I mean, th this one staying out isn't much of a big deal. Because, you know, he's just, a, he's just a line with Wrestle, but this staying out is amazing. Well, wow, that's pretty funny, Thomas Griff. <laughs> Get banged on. Get banged on. Elves can always bang on you, though, can't they? Oh wow, his team's been murdered. It's it's like watching one of my chaos teams. <laughs> Holy shit. Pretty funny. Alright. What are we looking at? The new best Fagor in nature if not by name. He's got to go for the air. He's got to fight the troll, hasn't he? Just to um, just to assert dominance. He's got to go for the blitz there. Blitz and run away. Hit and run blitz. That's the one. I guess put a strength ball on each side. Little bit susceptible to a blitz, I guess. But fuck it, I got strength ball on the backfield. Perfect defence. Be a little bit of a fucking one it with putting black orcs everywhere, but I can't really stop perfect defence being a fucking. At least I've got the strength ball blitz at the back. In there. I've got block and you don't. Oh my god. There you go. There you go. Exactly what I said. Get the KO. Turn one. And now he's just got this TV wasted. He doesn't even get to use his reserves. Like, well, okay, he got to use two of his reserves. But he, I, I hate that, that you just don't get to use your reserves a lot of the time. Okay, that was a, that was a useful block to go for.
I'll just go straight forward so I can remember. Clean streak, screen. That was good with our randomly blocked with block there. Roll the one in nine. Cheating streamer dice there. That was pretty good. Which is fine there, isn't it? He can go forward. Get that on. So that you know, obviously, the worthless player's marking him. Gotta hit the troll, have another block. Even better. Oh, I should move in the wrong square. Nah, yeah, well, maybe wrong square. I'm probably wrong square. Because I wanted to be able to push him there so that if I blocked him, he'd be, if push would be away. But I guess a push he can't do a lot anymore. Anyway. Um, do I go for the pickup? I don't re roll the pickup, so I guess I make the blocks and don't re roll the block. Gotta re roll this block though. And if this is a failure, it doesn't matter. Yeah, see, so now he's in contact. But, he, he's got no guard, so he can only 1D him, and there's still a screen. So it's no problem. Sweet. Looking good. Troll booty. Troll booty. Oh shit. Oh no, but it, but it was the it was the journeyman that I put there and he died. So so I've had two journeymen so far in con and they've both died in consecutive games. That's pretty good, isn't it? Both times I haven't really haven't replaced that guy in both times they've died. So it's pretty good having a, a journeyman, I think, for Chaos. Not so good when you've got six journeymen. But um, it's pretty good having one journeyman. He's giving blocks back here, isn't he? Run away from the mighty blows. <laughs> Next turn. <laughs> right, run over here. Right, this isn't much of a run. But, um. Not so good that a warrior's gonna get it, but at least he's armor now. I guess it's not worth, not worth giving up a block if you don't have to. And I, and I guess the good thing is I don't even have to score now, do I? I have to get in the turnover. Hello VIP RX nubs. It is amazing how much better Chaos Warriors are at the Black Dogs. Yeah, for 20k that extra point of movement and extra agility, I mean it's ridiculous isn't it? And mutation access. They are ridiculously better. Ridiculously better. You can you can do randoms like and they're so much better than Nurgle Warriors as well, really. Although the Nurgle Warriors are better in a fight. When it just comes to like winning games against elves or whatever, just being able to dodge and move five squares or even seven squares if you're lucky. It's outrageous.
You must go to now. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna like. You know, some games I just sit on it and try to uh, try to get the. You know, try to just make sure a win is a win. But uh, you know, of course, I'm gonna push for the win here. Could almost uh, fireball these three or fireball these three. Fireball these three to try and make a push down the side. Might as well. I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Now I can't run them, so no. No, I can't run them. Should have made the ball safe first. That was idiotic. Idiotic chaos blitz there. Standard for brainless chaos. Standard brainless chaos blitz there. That was really bad. This gets a 2D there, doesn't it, if it works? Yep. Means you'll zoom with one spare as well. Minus two on the troll. It's not bad odds, is it? Not bad odds. Stops mighty blow block. Though I might get the troll here, but I can always bolt him if I have to. Anti war answer strip ball cage. <laughs> well, anti leap cage, but also it's just to protect the mighty bull guy as well, isn't it? Ah, there you go, super duper noob just commenting. The classic anti leap cage, yeah. It's just it's just to protect the mighty blow guy completely as well. Yeah, play of games now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment out. I'm just gonna carry on playing my games. Yeah, the gobbles are on the uh, on the bench, so it's all right. This is good because now he, if he wants to assist, he's got. If he wants to assist this block, he's got to either make it a one day or he's got to um, give up. Okay, one day. Could still fireball these three. It's still an option. Especially now I can outrun them. Like, I could just bolt him, obviously, it would be kind of better. I mean, I don't even need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, blitz, you know, get free. So I don't even need to do anything here. It's just that it would slightly increase the chances, wouldn't it? It means I can move him forward and stuff. If, the, if this is a board down, it means he gets to blitz without him moving out the way first. Alright, come on. Fireball. Alright, there you go. So that, that was a pretty good fireball, really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. GFI, GFI. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.
I've got to make one GFI. I guess I should stood him up first. And oh, I should have made the second one now, but never mind, fuck it. down here would be much appreciated. He can't affect the ball realistically. He could get some kind of chain going maybe, so maybe a dodge with a reroll. Stops him getting hit by Mighty Blow as well, so yeah definitely. <laughs> Double one, fair enough. At least he doesn't get hit by Mighty Blow. Like, that was my thinking. At least he doesn't get hit by Mighty Blow if I fail the dodge. So, bit of a shit fireball. And, I mean, it was exactly the same as if I just bought that guy. But it did let me go past and make... If I go 2-0 up, I've definitely won, haven't I? Which is good. Timothy the Butcher, thank you very much. Long time no see. Um, the dedicated Chaos team. Um, hello, Maraz Kadu. It is, well, the first one won, won the first five or six in a row, but then ended up 6 5 1 because eventually getting all of their players killed was pretty bad. Um, this current one is 3 0 before this game, and then obviously, yes, as Buttmaster X says, looking like 4 0. I guess this is where I should have saved the fireball for. The bolt. bolt. Being re <laughs> Okay. Well, no problem. I hope you're okay now. Holy shit. You didn't say no, no, no then. <laughs> Blitz him, couldn't I? Could blitz. I mean, could blitz. Yeah, could surf him. I don't blitz. I'm be an idiot there. Could surf him. Block. Get him in there. Block him. Surf him. Run forward. Block him. So this, the store should be on for another turn at least. <laughs> he can block him to free up him. I see. One dice of dooms me. Yeah, of course he does. Oh, I was going to say not an arm break, but it doesn't matter because he would cancel the assist on him. Looking very dodgy for this block tackle, man. Saved your life. All right, excellent. Well, that's... That's great news, Timothy the Butcher. Excellent. <laughs> Still watch me on YouTube. <laughs> Cheers, man. That's crazy. Fucking hell. Oh my 
god, knockout is perfect. I was thinking, even if he was down, I would have had to worry about him a little bit, wouldn't I? He's a, he's a, he's a Lupak boy now, um, super duper noob, so no chance of casting it with me. These guys don't even need to stand up because they just get blocked down. Got a push. Don't even need to follow. He's all strength five. All strength five. Witting guy doesn't need an assist, does he? See you later, prick. Yeah, armor eight failed. Who would, who would believe that having armor eight on a on an armor nine team is a bit of a liability? Oh shit, he can just dodge out, but I've got this block. No, I don't have this block. Fuck. Fuck. One dice hit with a reroll, let's go. Oh yeah. Get banged on. Oh my god. Rando Kaz. <laughs> I've diced the fuck out of this guy, to be fair. Even though, like, you know, clearly he's not hes not the most experienced coach in the world. And, uh, you know, he hasn't... I've had the wizard and stuff. But, holy shit, he, I've had some fucking dice as well. Holy shit. Could make all these to, to get a screen out. Might as well, seeing as apparently nothing can fail for me at the moment. Oh, famous last words. No, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> because I was happy for these guys to just not get blocked. Cheeky double one. They would have been his double ones as well if I hadn't done that action. Yeah, maybe he might as well don't stand up Borak, yeah, maybe. But even then he can go on the line um for the for the overtime can. Yeah, I'd guess if I'd he would have had to block it. Yeah, Borak could foul, couldn't he, with his dirty player even. Cause I I'm gonna kick off so I want Borak on the line, um, when I kick. I guess. I guess I should have stood him up there. Yeah, the good old rage foul. Can't blame people for that, can you? I guess standing him up would have would have at least used up somebody's actions, so he wouldn't have slammed in his heart over here. Oh, wanna um, ever try and ugly? Yeah, probably next season. I think next season. Um. Next season I might go for my album. Yes, he wouldn't have been able to make that GFI, would he? So I guess maybe I should have stood up Borak, yeah. Maybe I should have done. Go for a blitz before I score. I'll not risk it. I guess don't risk it. Yeah, now Borat goes on the line, doesn't he? With um, with zero star player point guy and zero star player point guy. Level level warriors, nice, isn't it? He 
This is the anti anti throw teammate setup, isn't it? Bit further forward, I don't get blitz for no reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. It'd be better to be like a couple of squares forward to stop the throw teammate, but um I don't really care. That beastman leveled up for his second one. Nah, he's only on 14, unfortunately. Yep, four wins. Pretty good. Yeah, four including this one, yeah. But he could he could toss a goblin and then get a blitz and oh there you go, he just casts that guy instead. Oh, phew. Yeah, it's a win though, Kushel. <laughs> Might as well be. Might as well be over. The Duble Skulls. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pretty brutal on my own. I do hate matches like that. Holy shit. Oh, it's been delayed, Ducky versus World Sit on oh, it's in an hour and forty minutes now. Going for the foul on my, my rostered player. What a dirty dingo. Dirty dingo. Oh, he doesn't know that you can't do two passes. Oh. He doesn't know. He doesn't know the rules. Follow the rules. Do you know what? I don't think throw teammate should count as your pass action for the turn. Alright, you don't know about it. Well, it's just that Lupac put live Champions League Season 2 playoff 5pm Ducky vs. Roadsitter and before it was 4pm. So... So... I don't know then. He didn't know the rules, does he? Oh yeah, maybe he knows. Five PM GMT isn't in forty minutes. Five PM CC. Yeah, but Lupac only puts five PM. Lupac only does times in, in British time. I've never ever seen Lupac post a time that's in that's in CEST, ever. Yeah, impressions aren't my strong point. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty dead lizard man. Too. Not not as dead as my chaos team was um, one time. <laughs> Borak, go for it. Go for it, Borak. Go for the dodge into smashing the goblin. No, the goblin's still minus two. Go for two dodges into two GFIs to three dices goblin. I'll just go for a minus two on the minus three. Okay. Go for a minus two on a non block guy. They've all got block. Alright. I'm gonna go for this. You can do it, Borak. I believe in you.
Oh my god, in the end, even more death. That's nice. He does the last turn goblin toss. Failed the landing. See you later. Never look. Fash does such a good gym in fresh. <laughs> God. 40 minutes. Fair enough. Fair enough, Ducky. Fair enough. Just weird that he's got 5 pm when it's, um, you know, 5 pm my time. God, MVP, another level. Oh, glorious. What an unbelievable match. I'll put myself on so I can gloat about how glorious that was. Oh, glorious. I mean, that looked horrible, didn't it? You know, saying about TV Plus doing its thing and then be moaning that I was down so much TV. But it was, a, like, I guess that goes to um, to Voodoo Mike's and Dode's point that um, TV isn't a good indicator of strength because... This, I mean, it, it is isn't. it isn't, isn't it, you know? If he'd built his team properly, it would have been terrifying being that much down TV, down that much TV. But because his team was built poorly, it wasn't, um, oh God, not, not this one, right? Um, I'm not going to take a double, just go block. Or block all men's. Yeah, my dice were on point. I mean, do you, do you think, Grindle? I think, I think... I think the dice decided it pretty harshly. I got loads of KOs on Orcs. I guess he did let me 2D his ball for no reason. That's true. That's true. He did He did let me 2D the ball for no reason. Um, but I'm pressing the wrong thing here. But, like, you know, um, when you think about it, I nearly made nearly as many armor breaks as him without as much mighty blow. I did outblock him, but then... You know what? What the fuck are you? Get this. Three cars. He sustained four KO one casually. I mean, it's crazy that I made that many chaos. But um, he did defend his ball very badly, yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. But if he had built his team decently, yeah, it would have been horrific. His team was built very, very poorly. If that had been a properly built, if that was a proper 1,400, 1,500 orc team, it would have been absolutely terrifying. Well, let, let's. How much TV was it? About fifteen hundred, wasn't it? If if it had been this orc team, <laughs> fucking forget about it. But um, it wasn't that orc team. It was his orc team. So um, ah, thank you very much, Timothy Butcher. Yeah, I do mean to do more YouTube videos, but the, it's just fucking hard to get the time. And I think I'll do tomorrow. I'll put some in. Was it sixteen hundred? Holy shit. Um, right, so these two have just missed this game, so I can buy, I will buy another, um, another defaultly named Beastman. <laughs> Mate, wait till I get a Fago. Oh, shit. Shitty go! <laughs> Perfect, that was brilliant. Right, let's get shitty go. So two, two journeymen isn't that bad, is it? And then, um... You know, still got a hundred k to be able to get a to get a thing. Um, right. So yeah, three three blockers is really nice, isn't it, for reliability? Still got the mighty blow to go for attrition blitzers if it's prudent. Got the strength to carry. That's looking that's looking pretty good actually for a, for a four game chaos team. That's looking pretty good apart from these two missed next games, but they're only missed next games. So there are at least twelve. There are at least eleven rostered players. So, yeah, and 4 0, oh, pretty good. Um, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.